Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time stumbling across our videos, hey there, I'm Phil from Gen Tea. We specialize in bringing you a high quality sip of Chinese tea. Please consider subscribing if you like our content and want to learn more about Chinese tea. And don't forget to ring that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. If you could only name one book about Chinese tea, what book would it be? The Classic of Tea. And who do you think is the most famous Chinese tea person in the world? I would definitely vote for Lu Yu. Whether you're deeply in love with tea or just getting started, you've probably heard of the Classic of Tea and Lu Yu somewhere during your travels. So what's so special about this dude and his book? In today's video, we are going to talk about Lu Yu and his seminal work, The Classic of Tea. Lu Yu is known as a tea sage nowadays, but even during the Tang Dynasty, he was considered a tea god and people built memorials and temples to worship him. Born in Tiananmen, Hubei province, Lu Yu was an abandoned baby. He described himself as a type A person with some stubbornness and impatience. Though he stuttered, it didn't detract from his great debating skills and his deep yearning for knowledge. Lu Yu is considered a tea expert because he and his groundbreaking work, The Classic of Tea, started a new age for tea, making it a truly national drink for China and consequently influenced the world of tea hundreds of years later. His knowledge of tea history, tea cultivation, tea processing and tasting is expansive and this is also reflected in his tea books. Besides the world-renowned The Classic of Tea, he also wrote Shui Ping, a book entirely about water for tea brewing, and Hui Cha Lun, an expansion on the classic of tea. Sadly, only the classic of tea is preserved to this day. The others are lost to history, and we can only get a glimpse of them from ancient references. With a curious mind and a keenness for learning, Lu Yu's achievements go beyond just tea. He's a well-respected poet, a well-recognized antique connoisseur, and a respected geographer with many books dedicated on each of these respective areas. Actually, he was more famous during his own time as a literati than a tea expert. Though nowadays when we talk about Lu Yu, it's pretty much only about tea. Imagine this, you travel back in time to the Tang Dynasty and you meet Lu Yu in person. You would be so excited to see him. You tell him, Lu Yu, Lu Yu, Lu Yu, you're such a big tea. You're a star in tea. I would love your work on the classic of tea. Well, he might appreciate your admiration, but he would very likely still think you're a rude person. Do you know why? Leave your thoughts down below and we'll see who can guess it. The answer will be revealed in a future video. The classic of tea written by Lu Yu in the 60s and 70s of the 8th century, about 1200 years ago, includes 10 chapters explaining tea's origin, tools, production, utensils, boiling, drinking, history, growing regions, and how to simplify and pictorialize it. This was the first book or treatise dedicated to tea and inspired many more that followed his work. In the classic of tea, Lu Yu systematically summarized tea history, knowledge and practices from before his time making it a solid reference for us modern people to study the ancient history of tea. The success of the book at the time also promoted tea from a noble's novelty drink to a popular sip that common people would enjoy. How did tea become the national drink in China? This was definitely step one. Moreover, the value and spirit Lu Yu injected in the classic of tea expanded the relationship between humans and tea from a basic physiological need elevating tea from a simple beverage to an intellectual pursuit and a cultural symbol, marking it as the beginning of Chinese tea culture. The influence of the book also reached beyond China and deeply impacted the tea culture in other Asian countries such as Japan and Korea. The classic of tea is a book from 1200 years ago, and we don't even drink tea the way they did at that time at all. So why bother talking about this book? Well, we don't like talk like, we don't talk like Shakespeare does, but Shakespeare is still part of the school curriculum. And yes, I think the classic of tea transcends time and is totally worth us tea lovers giving it a read. Not to mention, it's, a fun, it's really fun to look at the tea world during that time and see it through Yu Lu's lens. Yu Lu's lens. Lu Yu's lens. Besides, the classic of tea is the most, re the most requested book for our Sunday tea book series. Sunday Tea Book is a YouTube live series where you, 
Jen and myself read together through books that have great content for Chinese tea lovers, but are unavailable or very obscure in the West. We either translate them, or if they're already translated, improve or elaborate on the existing translation. In season one, we went through Jianli Wu's book, China Tea, followed by Chen Shawan's awesome paper on tea classification. You can check those videos out on our channel. Next up, we'll be reading the classic of tea together with you in the upcoming season of Sunday Tea Book. Oh yeah, I'm excited. Jiggly jiggly. I have to say, Jem was very hesitant to tackle the classic of tea in our Sunday Tea Book series because of all the many barriers, language, culture, time, to name just a few. The book itself has more than 37 versions in ancient Chinese. It's written in the ancient Chinese of the Tang Dynasty, meaning that some of the words have lost their meaning and some have completely changed. Even now, there are still some controversies regarding certain words among academics. But after much brainstorming, and believe me, there was a lot of it, I think we figured out a way to present you an interesting, informative, and really fun read of the classic of tea. It will be a little bit different than, uh, season, than the format of season one, but it will keep all this essentially, it'll keep all the essential elements. We're hoping to bring you a comprehensive read of the book rather than a simple translation, using our expertise in Chinese tea to bridge the gap between Western and Chinese culture, and also the gap between today's tea world and the tea world of the 1200s, of 1200 years ago. To achieve this goal and minimize misunderstanding, we'll definitely need your help. Your input and feedback are exactly what makes Sunday Tea Book so valuable to the tea community. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you will know when we start scheduling Season 2 of Sunday Tea Book. To help make it easier and less confusing for tea lovers to get into the classic of tea mode, we want to get some basics out of the way. This video is one of two prep videos for Season 2 of Sunday Tea Book. In this one, we talked about Lu Yu and the classic of tea and its significance. In the other video, we'll expand from Lu Yu to his time, the Tang Dynasty, giving you a little bit of the cultural background and context. What was the Tang Dynasty like? Why is it such a special time in the Chinese heart? How did people enjoy tea during the Tang Dynasty? If you are thinking they boiled tea, think again. Please leave a comment below. Share with us what you know about the Tang Dynasty and its tea culture. Or if you have any questions about it, also let us know so that we can cover those in our second Sunday tea book, The Classic of Tea, prep video. Until next time, keep steeping.